For the first time, the public is getting to see former Philadelphia police officer Mark Dial's body-worn camera from the day he shot and killed Eddie Irizarry. Corey Jones is a retired police sergeant with experience as both a use of force and firearms instructor. He's not affiliated with the case, but watched it with us and gave his expert opinion about what is seen in the footage. Do you think with the release of the video, we know more now than we did yesterday? Yes, we do definitely know more now than we did yesterday. Let's start with the officer's initial command to Irizarry in the roughly five seconds it takes from when they exit their cruiser to when Dial fires into Irizarry's car. One officer is heard saying, I will expletive shoot you. Oh, shoot you. There is question as to whether one of the officers shouted that Irizarry had a weapon. Did you hear either officer state what type of weapon or that there was a weapon? I did not hear exactly what the officer said. No. Take another listen. Jones says an officer can use deadly force if they reasonably believe they are in immediate fear of death or serious bodily injury to themselves or a third party. Did you at any point see either officer in immediate danger? No, there was nothing from my vantage point watching from the one officer's body-worn camera that showed a knife, a weapon, or a deadly force threat that would have put anybody that I could see on camera in immediate fear of death or serious bodily injury. The portion of the footage showing Dial and the other officer removing Irizarry from his car is too graphic to show. But this is footage of Dial driving a severely injured Irizarry in his back seat during the roughly two-minute drive to Temple Hospital. Once inside the hospital, Dial is seen walking around and taking a few seconds to wash his hands. On two occasions, it appears he dissuades other officers from approaching him. Go. No, no, stop. There's also this interaction with a hospital employee. Was it any signs of life? Was he doing anything? Talking, breathing, anything or not? Barely. From what you saw, how did his demeanor seem from the time of the shooting to when he arrived at Temple Hospital? His demeanor seemed normal based on what I would expect from an officer who's just been involved in what he was just in, it, continually being involved in. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.